All right, y'all. So Garrett's over here. We've been working on these heads. Uh, he got some new valve seals. So these are the old heads off of the 07. And the ones that had all the valve seal, exhaust valve seals came off. So I just pulled all these springs off and replaced all six of these valve seals. Now I've got to go inside and grab the other head and get it out here so we can get the other six replaced. And these are the 90 pound valve springs and the LS modified retainers. So the only thing these are missing is the two studs for uh, the coil pack bracket and the dog bone mount. So we're probably going to have to pull those studs off of the NA heads once I get those pulled off of the engine. And but yeah, so I'm going to go inside and grab this other head and uh, I guess I'll do a little showing y'all how I get these done. So y'all give me a minute. Y'all give me a minute and I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all. So got the other head out here. So as you can tell, it still has the old valve seals. I got black ones on the exhaust and the green on the intake. So I'm about to get all six of these uh, springs and retainers off of here. I'm doing it. I'm using my nail bar, my homemade shit I seen off of Facebook. Awesome hack. Works amazing. And so, yeah, you just thread your rocker bolt right down into the uh head where the rocker normally uh bolts down and then you just apply pressure have to put a rag underneath in the combustion chamber to keep the valves from uh moving down and that will let you push these valve springs down so y'all give me just a minute and uh i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here all right y'all well I forgot to record before doing all these, but uh, so I'm on the last one, so I'm gonna show y'all now. So I've already got the valve seal off, so I'm gonna go ahead and just install this new one on here. Installed it dry, pop it all the way down. Got a 13 millimeter socket. Just make sure it's nice and seated. Then you can put your valve spring back on there. Get this pretty centered. And take your valve locks. To put this side on first. And the opposite side. And bam, that easy. And that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, whenever you put this on, you can kind of see where, uh, that seal is on there. That's about how far deep. That's, like, the stock, you know, like, how about how tight that bolt's going to get with the rocker on and everything. And that's about where you want it so you have enough play to line up the hole with your, uh, valve locks. Because if you're, if it's a little too tight, then it'll hang forward and... It'll just push the valve lock down. You won't be able to pop them out. So you might have to adjust it a little bit. Get it in this, you know, find its sweet spot. And, but yeah, once you, you find the spot, and as long as you don't over tighten it, whenever you put that on there, they come off real easy. So after doing the first head, I kind of got the hang of it and it became a lot easier. And then the only other thing you have to do is you have to put a rag or something uh, in the combustion chamber to hold the valves so that way the valves can't slide down while you're trying to put pressure on it but yeah everything looks great so now I just got a wire wheel the head mating surfaces uh, on both heads and probably go ahead and wire wheel the lower intake manifold mating surfaces and maybe the exhaust manifold mating surfaces they look pretty good but Yep, so now we've got all 12 valve seals, six on both heads, everything swapped out. We've got the uh, ZZP reusable rocker bolts, which I'm pretty sure I used these same uh, ZZP reusable rocker bolts on the NA engine that's in the 06 now, but that's okay. Either way, we've got, we've got some reusable rocker bolts, so... Uh, we've got to make a run of my storage. I've got to grab the supercharger gasket. I've got to grab my Loctite. Uh, 
I gotta grab the red paint, the masking tape. Yeah, we, we gotta grab some stuff. So, uh, yeah. So I guess we're gonna get everything picked up and make a run over to the storage, and I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys. So we ran over to the storage last night, got some more stuff. Uh, I ended up getting. I had to take this off of the Grand Dam, so we would have it because I couldn't find one anywhere. But uh, David actually seen another Gen 5 out at the salvage yard. So I gave him 100 bucks to run over and just go get the whole supercharger. And the EGR tube off of that lower intake. So we can make sure everything's good and right. For it being a pretty much stock, you know, stock setup. And... So yeah, whenever we got back last night, it, it was actually got really cold, so we decided not to start working on it. So we got up this morning, around 11, come out here and started pulling this apart. We got the snout pulled off, we got it drained, changed out the coupler, got it all back together, got it filled up with the new oil. <coughs> so superchargers redone, we've got the... Uh, uh, boost bypass valve off the Grand Am mounted on there put the new vacuum line on there and yeah everything's going good so now I've been pulling this apart just disconnecting this harness I've got to disconnect it from the starter and from the AC compressor and everything down below and then I've just got to disconnect the O2 sensors and the speed sensor and the oil pressure and all that stuff down on the back side of the engine back there and then the harness will be fully disconnected except for from the fuse box and then uh, I've already got the fuel rail off so now I just got to get the upper intake and the lower intake get the valve covers off get the heads off get everything cleaned up and then we can start putting everything back together so and then yeah we seen last night we got the valve seals done so Pretty much everything's ready to go and put everything back together so i'm gonna keep working on this get this thing pulled apart and i'll give you guys another update all right you guys so we've been working on this thing for a while we've got the upper and lower intake off i got the front valve cover off got the dog bones off and so i just pulled that front valve cover and it's hard to tell, but from what it looks like, it looks like all the valve seals are still seated. But I'll be able to tell tell better once I actually have the head off. So, I'm going to keep working on this. And I've got to get all the uh, head stud nuts broken free. And get them all backed off. And then I can pull this head off of here. And uh, then I've got to remove the belt i've got to pull the alternator bracket off and then i still have to disconnect the rear exhaust manifold and get it unbolted from the head and then i can pull that rear valve cover and get the rear head off so we're gonna keep working on this thing and i'll give you guys another update all right y'all so i've got the rear exhaust is disconnected so I've got the top four uh, head studs loosened. I've still got to get the bottom four down there. So, but it's getting very close. Uh, I've almost got the rear head off. And once I get the rear head off, I just got to clean up the mating surface and get all the old gasket material off like I did on the front side. And uh, got to clean up the bottom, the head mating surfaces of the supercharged heads. And then just got to copper spray the new gaskets get them on here and uh, thread get uh, more thread tape on the head studs because I'm having to remove them all to clean the surfaces and yeah but then once all that's done then get all the head studs back in get them all tightened down get the head gaskets copper sprayed get the new heads on get them torqued down and we start getting her reassembled with the supercharged intake and get the uh, gen 5 blower on there so y'all stay tuned i'll give you guys another update all right you guys well i got stuck on this rear head the exhaust manifold is 
still up in the way. So I'm having to pry the exhaust manifold up out of the way to get to the head stud nuts. And I've got three of them on the back side loose. And, but I couldn't get to this one on this back corner. And I don't know, it's just super cold. And it's down in the 30s already. And I didn't think it was going to get this cold tonight. But I'm just freezing out here. And David's been over here helping me. And Garrett went home. So I'm calling it a night. And uh, Garrett's supposed to be back over here in the morning. So whenever he gets back over here in the morning... I'll have him help me uh, have that rear, pry that rear exhaust manifold out of the way. And I'll get the uh, other nut off and we'll get all four of them off. And finally get this rear head off and get it cleaned up and be able to start assembling it with all the supercharged top in and start getting it back together. So y'all have a good night. Catch you guys in the morning. All right, YouTube. So it is 730 in the morning. Last night, I just kind of took and stacked the stuff in here. This is a good little mock-up of what it's going to look like when it's all together. But I still got to get that rear head off. So, yeah, I'm about to uh, run up here to the store. Go get some breakfast from McDonald's and then run up to Walmart. Because I got to get oil and oil filter. Got to get antifreeze. I've got to get some RTV. So, I'm going to run up to Walmart and to McDonald's, and then I'll be back over here, and hopefully Garrett will be here pretty soon. And I'll start, just set all this stuff back over here on the table, and start working on trying to get this rear head out, out of here again. So, y'all give me a bit, and I'll give you guys another update. Alright y'all, so, just got back from McDonald's, getting some breakfast, went by Walmart, I got oil, oil filter, brake cleaner... And some transmission fluid. I need to go by come and go to get power steering fluid. Because the price of power steering fluid is just ridiculous now. But I just spent like 80 bucks at Walmart getting all these fluids. And yeah, so I guess I'm going to grab all this stuff out of here. I got to clean off this table. That way I can stack all this stuff back up here on the table nice and neat. And just kind of get everything ready to go where it needs to go. And... And then I'll give you guys another update. So y'all stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated. Alright, well, I got the rear head off. I had to pull the whole rear exhaust manifold, unbolt it from the exhaust. But I was able to get the rear head off. So now I just gotta clean up the gasket mating surface, get all this coolant and shit out of here, and spray this out with brake clean, spray out all the cylinders with brake clean. Gotta turn it over. And, uh, and then I think we'll be good to uh, to start throwing her back together. So I'm going to keep working on this and try to get this all cleaned up and get all this shit out of the cylinders. And I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys. So I've got the front head mating surface all cleaned up. I've wire wheeled it with the wire wheel and just kind of wiped everything down. I've, uh, I haven't got the rear wire wheeled yet, but I did get it scraped off with razor blades and wiped out the cylinders. Pistons all look good. I don't see any chipped. I don't see any issues with anything. So I'm really hoping that his misfire was just in the harness because it was for cylinder two, which is that back cylinder there. Cylinder looks great. Piston looks fine. So, I'm really hoping it was just something in the harness. But, so I guess, uh, what I gotta do now is I've, after I wire wheel the rear head mating surface, I'm gonna wipe everything down again, spray everything down with brake clean again, just make sure everything's nice and clean. And uh, then I've got to clean up all these head studs. I've got to re-thread tape all of them. Get all of them back reinstalled. These are the ones for the front head. I've got the ones for the rear head over there with the push rods. So I've got to get all these uh, re-wrapped and reinstalled on the front side of the engine block. And then I can go ahead and bust out the gaskets which are sitting in the front seat. 
Um, for this, I included the diamond power. Oh, come on, yeah. Here they are. The diamond power head gaskets. It's part number. These are like 20 bucks on eBay, but they've been really good gaskets. And then he got the uh, ZZP lower intake manifold gaskets. So, it's definitely coming together. Um, also, before I start getting everything popped back on here, I've got to remove this whole harness for the crank sensor and the cam sensor. This whole thing has to come out because the supercharged harness has a different plug right here. So I have another ICM sub harness. And I've also got to pull the crank pulley off. So there's still quite a, quite a bit of work to do to get this complete. And then once I get that sub harness off, I have to take this bracket. And I need to get it bolted on in there before I start putting everything back together. Because once everything's in there, it is a pain in the ass to get that on. And then I also have to swap that pulley out. You can see the size difference. This is the actual pulley that goes to this bracket. So, yeah, that's kind of kind of where I'm at right now. And, yeah, so I've just got to get a couple more things pulled off here. Get that crank pulley off. Get this rear all cleaned up. And then it's almost ready to start going back together. So... I'm going to keep working on this and uh, I'll give you guys another update here shortly. Alright y'all, so I got the front head studs uh, thread taped and I've got them uh, tightened back down uh, in the holes. I still got to clean up the ones for the rear and get the rear wire wheeled and everything. And, but I think before I wire wheel the rear side... I'm going to go ahead and copper spray a front head gasket and get it on there and grab the front head and get it set on there. And then once I have the front head on there, it doesn't have the studs on it yet. They're still on the other NA head. So that'll give me a little bit of room over in here to get that other bracket installed uh, for the idler. And that will also keep any debris out of the front three cylinders. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the head gaskets. Figure out which one's the front. Get it copper sprayed. Get it on there. Get the front head on. And then I'll go ahead and use a, a lifter and installation lube uh, on all of these washers for torquing them down. And start getting this front head back together. And then once I have the front head on and torqued down, then I'll worry about the rear. And that'll just kind of keep some debris out of there. And then I'm also going to try to figure out something to cover up the lifter valley here. Just because uh, I've already sprayed it out and wiped it down. And got it pretty cleaned up from what it was. It was a lot worse. And yeah, so it's going to... Keep working on it, get this front head installed, and then I'll give you guys another update. Alright y'all, so I got the front head all wire wheeled and nice and cleaned up. I also got the uh, lower intake manifold mating surface all wire wheeled and cleaned up. And then I've got the block cleaned up for the front head. So, looks like everything is good to go. I can go ahead and copper spray the front head gasket get it on get the headset on and then start putting the washers and the nuts on get her torqued down and the front head will be on and done and the front head will be good to go so i guess now i'm gonna go ahead and get in here in the car and grab these head gaskets and i need to figure out which one of these is the front which one is the rear? Looks like these don't have the arrow pointing like the old ones do. See, the old ones have the arrow. So you know which one goes which. That one even has an L in it for left. And these don't have that. So I'm just going to have to line up where the uh, push rods 
go through, line up, make sure I have the right gasket facing the right way. Get them copper sprayed and get the head on there and then I'll give you guys another update. Alright, so as you can see, all my piss rods are going to line up with the gasket nice and straight. So, everything looks good. So now I can pull this gasket back off, copper spray it, set it back on here, and get the head on. And then uh, we should be good to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, and I'll give you guys another update here in just a minute. Alright, you guys. So, I've got the front head on. I've got a torque down. So, what I did was... I threaded them on by hand and then I use my extender ratchet just to kind of snug them and I guess me snugging them was 60 foot pounds because I did 30 all of them immediately clicked set it to 60 all of them immediately clicked I set it to 90 and got a like a quarter turn to a half a turn on all of them and got them to click so the front head is torqued down to 90 foot pounds so now all I got to do is put my push rods in, get the rockers back on, which I just set them over there. And then I've got to get some blue Loctite, which is right here. I've got to put blue thread locker on all of the reusable rocker bolts, which means I got to wipe all these down, clean this off. I've got to put some cam and lifter installation lube on all of the uh, valves. <clears throat> and uh, on all the push rods and but yeah it's coming together so I'm gonna go ahead and get the push rods put back in here get everything lubed get the rockers back on get them thread locked and get the rockers torqued down to th I want to say it's 32 or 35 foot pounds so I'm gonna go ahead and get all that done now and then put the front valve cover on just so shit ain't falling down in the engine and uh then i'm gonna start working on this rear one so y'all give me a few and i'll give you guys another update all right y'all so i just used a cam and lifter insulation lube got it on all my push rods on all of the valves so now i can take my rocker assembly and get them set in place so everything's properly lubed and then i've just got to get my blue thread locker on the rocker bolts and get them torqued down and the front head is done and complete so i'm gonna go ahead and get these rockers on here and then i'll give you guys another update all right y'all i've got all the rockers are torqued down uh to 35 foot pounds i got the front valve cover back on so the front head is done so now i need to start working on getting this rear head gasket copper sprayed and get it on get the rear head on and uh i've got to get all the head studs wherever oh here they are yeah i've got to get all these all wiped down and cleaned up get all the old thread tape and shit off and put new thread tape on so i can get those in here and i'm gonna have to set the head on first and then put the studs in and tighten them down so it's gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass but i'm gonna get it done so that's what i'm gonna do now and i'll give you guys another update Head gasket is fitted. All the lifters are lined up with the holes for the push rods. So everything should fit nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and get this gasket copper sprayed. And get it on here. Get the headset on here. And start getting everything, uh, all the head studs back in. And get everything torqued down. And I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all, so got the rear surface all cleaned up, got the gasket copper sprayed, got the rear head all cleaned up. You just put the, uh, the gasket on there, so I'm about to set the head on there. And then David's been cleaning up the head studs, so I've got to grab the thread tape over here, get the threads wrapped, get this headset on start getting the studs in i'll get them all 
uh, tightened all the way down to where the studs are bottomed out. And then I'll put the washers on, then the insulation lube, then the nuts, torque them down. And then at least both the heads will be on. And then I've got the rocker sitting over here and the valve cover. And the blue Loctite sitting there with the thread tape. So it's coming together. We're making lots of progress. So I'm about to get this rear head set on here. And then I'll give you guys another update once I have the head torqued down and the rockers on. And all that's done and both heads are on. Alright you guys, so I got the rear head is torqued down 306090 on all studs. I got the rockers on. I use a cam and lifter insulation lube and I lubed all of the push rods and all the rockers, all the valves. So everything's nice and lubed. I use that whole tube of blue Loctite for all the rocker bolts on both heads. And I got all the rocker bolts torqued down to 35 foot pounds. So we're looking good. She's coming together. So now next thing I can do is I don't want to throw the rear valve cover on just yet. Because I still have to get the rear exhaust manifold in there. And uh... So I'm probably going to have to have Garrett or someone pull the engine forward like this to give me a little bit more room to get it back there. But I say we should be good to go ahead and get the lower intake manifold gaskets on and bust open that RTV. And I'm going to uh, RTV across the bridge and in all four corners. And I'm not going to RTV any of the gaskets. I'm just going to set those in place while RTV all the lower intake manifold bolts and get this thing snugged down and be making some really good progress. So y'all stay tuned. I'll give you guys another update here shortly. All right, you guys. So the lower intake manifold is on. I got all the gaskets RTV'd, uh, RTV'd across the bridge in the corners. Uh, I RTV'd all the bolts. Got them all torqued down to 30 foot pounds. So, lower intake is on. Uh, I just set the rear valve cover on. It's not tightened down yet. But uh, I'm going to have to pull that off. And Garrett's going to move the car forward by the wheel so that the engine rocks forward. So I can get that uh, exhaust manifold in back there. And I'm going to pop the valve cover off first so I don't scratch it up. And But yeah, then... And once I get the rear exhaust manifold back in there, I can go ahead and get it bolted on uh, with the gasket and start getting the rear manifold back together. And then uh, before I put the supercharger on, I want to get the alternator bracket and everything bolted back on and then put the supercharger on. And I still got to grab the studs out of the other head for this front head for the... A coil pack bracket and the dog bone and then I want to start running the harness and before I put the front exhaust manifold on I want to run the harness down here and hook up the starter and plug in all these plugs up front and then I'll put the exhaust manifold on because once it's on it it comes out to here and it covers all that up so I'm gonna try to do everything step by step and get this thing I'll put back together and looking like an engine again. It's almost there though, minus the supercharger. It pretty much looks like a almost a complete engine now. So making lots of progress. So y'all stay tuned. I'll give you guys another update. All right, you guys. So we've got the whole top end together. I've got the rear manifold is bolted on. Everything's tight. I've got the the nuts on the downpipe flange, the gaskets in there. I'm just gonna wait until I jack the car up to tighten those up. And I've gotta put the O2 sensor back in. I've got the vacuum line ran from the map sensor around here to the front. Got the supercharger torqued down to 30 foot pounds. Got the fuel rail on with his new reman injectors which we put them on the NA engine and it started running stupid rich. So I'm pretty sure they're supercharged injectors. So we're gonna try them out if they don't work or if they still have issues then I still have the stock 33 pound supercharged injectors. So 
If there's an issue with these, we'll swap them out. Everything will be good. Um, I still got to get this wired up. This is going to go here to the harness. This goes to the coils. I've got to get the studs here. I've got to get that bracket mounted, bolted down right here where these three, where that bolt is and those two holes is where it bolts in. So I've got to get that uh, idler pulley bolted on there. And still got to swap out the uh, balancer pulley for the supercharged balancer pulley, which is here. So still got a little bit of work to go. But made a shit ton of progress. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll give you guys another update here shortly. Alright, y'all. So, it is about 8.45. Made a lot of progress. I've got the front exhaust manifolds on. All the spark plugs are in. Crossovers on. Everything's tight. Um, I've still got to swap the crank pulley. So, I've got the car jacked up. Got the wheel off. And I've got pretty much the whole harness ran, except for over here. I've got to plug in the speed sensor and the uh, uh, oil pressure switch and the rear knock sensor. And then I've got to run the harness down to the rear O2 sensor and get that back up in place. And then after that, I think that's about it other than swapping the crank pulley. So... Filter. Not a whole lot left to go, but Fluids. still a, l a ways to go. It's it's Water getting pretty chilly. It's like 33 or 34 degrees. So trying to push through it and get it done tonight. And so I'm going to keep working on it and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. So Y'all stay tuned. All right, you guys. So it's 10 o'clock. We I just drained the oil, uh, swapped the filter. Garrett just filled it up. I've got the main belt on, the supercharger belt that I have, the brand new one, is too long. I don't know why it's too long, but it's too long. So, uh, all the other supercharger belts are at my storage. And so, I guess we're going to have to wait till tomorrow to get a supercharger belt on there. But, it's just about ready to start. So, I still have to plug in my speed sensor, the oil pressure sensor, the knock sensor, and the rear O2 sensor and then bolt the wheel on the battery's already hooked up so I mean technically she should start so fuse box is all plugged in everything else is plugged in it's just these fuse sensors down here and the rear O2 sensor and that should be everything so I'm gonna get all this finished buttoned up and get all this put together and get her back on the ground and then I'll give you guys another update Alright y'all, so I just got the rear O2 sensor plugged in, I got the exhaust connected, both nuts are tight, I've got all the speed sensor, the knock sensor, the oil pressure sensor, all that stuff's all plugged in up there. So it looks like all I have now is that plug there goes into the front of the oil pan for the oil level, and then I've got the speed sensor there, comes over here to the driver's side wheel for the speed sensor and though that should be it and then I think I have the AC compressor plug I gotta plug in and I think that's it on the front side and that'll be everything so I guess I'm gonna get this uh, these last few plugs plugged in and get this finished up we'll drop her on the ground and then we'll do for our startup so y'all stay tuned all right y'all so I've got the AC compressors plugged in I've got the, uh, the oil level sensor plugged in. I've got both the speed sensors ran to both wheels. And Garrett's uh, tightening up the power wire right now. So other than the supercharger belt, everything is together. Everything is tight. Uh, this goes to the uh, ABS pump and this goes to the steering rack, which this car doesn't have either one So neither one of those are used But everything else is plugged in and tight and hooked up. So I Think uh, after he's done hooking that wire up. We'll pop the cap on Which is I thought it was over here with this stuff And we'll, we'll pop that cap on we'll get this set on the ground 
I've got to hook up the three rear spark plug wires and then we'll uh, attempt first start. So y'all give us just a few and I'll give you guys another update. All right, y'all. So started topping it off with coolant. Uh, it's full of oil. All spark plug wires are on. I've got the bleeder valve open. So, all right, Garrett. I guess, like, turn the key off and on, like, four or five times, and then try to crank her. Whenever. Turn the heater on full. Man, it's running so smooth. Huh? Oh, the blower? Yeah. Well, it's in that Impala still, so. Can you slap it? Slap the dash? Will it kick it on? Lower. It's running smooth. It's running a lot better than it was in A. Hey, I, that's a really successful weekend in my book. Like, the car at least is running much better. So, it's gonna let it idle, let it bleed out some air out of this cooling system, keep topping it off with coolant, and I'll give you guys another update here in a bit. Sounded nice and healthy though. Nice and smooth. To add a little more coolant. <laughs> I'm excited for you, bro. I'm glad it still got done. Because this was the plan the whole time, so. Oh yeah. All right, you guys, so the 06 is running really good. The heater's blowing nice and hot. It's not dumping black smoke out the exhaust, so it's not running rich. It has no check engine lights. It was running really smooth. So uh, I'm going to start getting everything picked up, get all these tools picked up. And uh, yeah, then Garrett's probably going to take off uh, here soon and... I'll just have him let me know how it drives on his way home. See if there's anything we need to improve other than getting that belt on there. But so far, everything looks awesome. So, hey guys. All right, so it's the next day. It's Monday. Garrett's back. 
And so, uh, on his way home yesterday, the car was flashing the check engine light and misfiring. So, we decided to swap out the injectors. These are the factory L32 uh, EV6 injectors, 33 pound. So, we just took all the new O-rings off the new ones and just put them on here. Swap those out got that reinstalled also i found a belt that fits so we've got a belt on the supercharger now and we had to try like four or five different belts but we finally got it and uh so i think we're ready to start her up and see if it runs any better oh yeah and and i went and i got a uh another actual spark plug because that one broke so we got that spark plug replaced and now they're all six are NGK TR55 Iridium so Let's see how good how good it runs Give her a rev. There it goes. That sounded a lot better. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta check the fluid too. Yeah. All right, put it in dry or apart. I don't think there's anything showing on it. Holy fuck. Hey, will you grab that rag right there? Will you wipe that? Nothing. I mean, maybe we can check them. All right, we're going to add some fluid, and I'll give you guys another update. Okay, guys, so the 06, we topped it off with transmission fluid, and the car runs much better. Um, Garrett did say that the transmission, like, whenever he, like, it'll downshift and it'll go, but then he has to, like, let off the gas for it to shift or else it'll kind of bounce off rev limiter. So, I don't know what's going on with the transmission. So, it might, we might have to end up doing a transmission swap on it, but for now, the car is running and driving and he's much happy happier with it so uh i think that's gonna be it for this video so if you guys like the video give me a thumbs up uh leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the video and uh hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the future videos so y'all have a good night and i'll catch you guys in the next one